Hard evidence tonight of massive racial disparities in the way DC police deal with blacks and whites. New report from the ACLU found police are arresting African Americans at 10 times the rate of white people, even from minor offenses. The city is arresting far more black people, even though they are less than half the population. Bruce Lashan gives us a closer look at the numbers. The ACLU asked for arrest data under the Freedom of Information Act and got an eyeful. Between 2013 and 2017, African Americans were just 47% of DC's population, but 86% of the people police arrested. Blacks were arrested at 10 times the rate of whites. When you have a disparity of 86% of arrestees being black in a city that only is 47% black, that's not just about one or two officers. That's about a systemic problem that needs systemic solutions. I'm looking right now at the scatter plot that even in overwhelmingly white neighborhoods, it was the African Americans who tended to be arrested. The black population in Calrama is about 5%. The black share of arrestees in Calrama is 44%. And the report found that thousands of African Americans were arrested for nonviolent, relatively minor crimes. 78% of the people arrested for driving without a permit were African American. We don't think that anyone should be subjected to the humiliation, the terror, the discomfort of arrests for something that is relatively minor. But we think that you definitely should reconsider those policies when it's promoting racial bias, when it's sowing distrust in the community. It was white cops that handcuffed that black 10-year-old boy. The Bowser administration released a statement saying residents deserve both safe neighborhoods and a police department they can trust. In D.C., Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9. Deputy Mayor for Public Safety and Justice Kevin Donahue outlined several initiatives D.C. police are using to combat the disparities, including what he calls the nation's most progressive body-worn camera program. Also, increasing opportunities for students and residents to have a career with the Metropolitan Police Department and providing officers training on D.C. history and culture. We don't feel this goes for enough. Uh, perhaps D.C. police can study the ACLU report, then examine their own arrest stats and bring in citizens and experts from outside the department to make sure that people are treated the same, regardless of their skin color and what part of town they live in. It's a fact. As a former D.C. police chief once said to me years ago, we don't police the same way in every part of town.